Someone help! Some trap found something down there. Looks like foul play. I heard a splash, and right quick pulled this bloke out of the shallows, dead as a mackerel. I live there now, if you can call it living. I lost my job, didn't I? No need for the likes of me when a machine can do the work. this. A nice warm coat like that on a dead man? What do you expect? I snatched it before somebody else came along to nick it. Like you. Well now, I didn't ask about this. The midnight train, that must be the 616, stops in the station down the road. If you hurry, it might still be there. Better hurry. It's leaving right now. It was a typical evening. As far as I knew, nothing unusual happened until you came aboard with this story of a murder. Just another wealthy passenger. They're all pretty much the same.
I should go back and ask about this. Nothing unusual. A couple of passengers came in and had a sort of business meeting. One of them was buying a lot of drinks for the other, and then they started to argue. But Vivian went over and joshed them out of it. Peter, nice bloke. Came here after being sacked from a foundry a few months ago. I'll tell you, he looked white as a ghost after he served the business mill. Oh, uh, well, it's a noisy train. Plenty your passengers have trouble getting to sleep, so I keep sitting. Was tidying up in the passenger car. Around midnight, Vivian ran through. She thought someone was looking for her. God ding boys. Some noises on the roof woke me up briefly. You say someone was thrown from up there. You have to be a very strong fella to drag someone up onto the roof. Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. I had drinks in the dining car with Killian. We had business dealings in the past. It was a pleasant surprise to discover him on this train. I felt unusually tired and came back here to get some sleep. Mr. Wolf had a few with Mr. Killian. Then the young lady invited herself over to have a glass with him. Mr. Wolf became terribly tired, even though he'd only had one drink. He toddled off to bed well before midnight. I stayed in the dining car for a few drinks with the barman. Mr. Wolf bought him drink after drink. Then they got angry. But a young lady come over and it's obvious that Mr. Killian was interested in a rendezvous like. Around about 11.30, Killian and her left together. I've been Mr. Wolf's valet for going on several years. He's frail and needs a man like me to help him about. at all. I had a drink with some gents and then retired to my sleeper. The rich fellow. I did talk with him. Very charming. But a single woman has to be careful, you know. Did something happen to him? someone could tell me more about this. Oh, all right. I flirt with rich blokes and the barman slips them a mickey. I take them back to my sleeper and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and had me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions.
Sam. He's a trusted valet. He's terrifically strong, which makes him useful in many situations. I suppose there were some disagreements, but there always are when a great deal of money is involved. That one. Clever little minx. She and the bomb and got a little scam going. I think everyone on the staff knows about it. Killian was on this train. Cool. I used to work in his foundry. I never even seen him. None of us workers ever knew what he looked like. Well, Peter worked with me at the foundry. He's a very strong bloke. I got my arm mangled in one of the damn machines they put in. Then Killian sacked the old crew. Peter, he helped me get hired as train staff. She's a frequent passenger, that one. Hangs about with the wealthier sort. Likes to entertain them, if you take my meaning. Yeah, I helped Vivian fleece the dupes. I slipped a pill in the wine for the table. Both gents got sleepy, but Vivian picked the richest one. She rides the train often. She's very friendly with the other passengers. You mean the young lady? She and Killian hit it off famously. Embarrassing, really. Someone slipped a note under my sleeper door a few minutes before midnight. It said I should come to the dining car. I went, but only Ryan and Wolf's man were there, and they were both drunk. I gave him what he deserved. The man was heartless. A lot of murderous anger concerning industrialists. Might be something to look into. Up to the click with you. Uh, 